and YouTube. I'll tear down for you. Uh, this is a gyroscope actually. It is a azimuth gyro unit made by Smiths. Um, it's a bit older than, uh, than the sort of thing I usually like to take apart. I, I usually prefer 70s and 80s things and this is uh, decidedly 50s or 60s. But uh, uh, well you know it's a gyro. Uh, Smiths make some interesting stuff so uh, yeah let's uh, take it apart and have a look. Um, so uh, it's it's a fairly weighty chunky thing. There's my hand for uh, for scale. Uh, it's been a bit bashed about. It's got a big dent there. Various other bits of it are kind of wobbly. It's got these great big old connectors on. Um, don't, don't tend to see them on very modern stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look inside. So that was kind of a full start, I guess. Um, you can just see the top of the main gyro unit there, some sort of bearing spindly thing, a couple of connectory bits, and uh, apart from that, just the inside of these plugs. So I guess we've got to take this bit off anyway. That's pretty boy. Right, so this thing. Now, there's a bit of a problem here um, because it appears to actually be soldered together. Um, so, uh, uh, bear with me while I attempt to break into it. I guess I'm probably not going to film that because it's going to be difficult and involve lots of hammering, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll come back once I've separated these two halves. So, right back again, uh, it was actually uh, fairly easy. In this, around this seal, they'd run a, uh, a copper wire and just soldered it in with some, uh, some high leg content solder. So just uh, exposing one end and grabbing it, I was able to pull the whole thing out. Um, a bit of difficulty working out how the top actually then came away from the bottom. Turns out it kind of rotates. Um, along these uh, these these channels here, and there we go. So uh, interestingly, this this thing on the top here, I thought this was like a pivot point. It's not. It's a a cap for a sealed nipple. So it looks like they uh, they sealed this and then injected some sort of. Uh, either a controlled atmosphere or perhaps just uh, completely evacuated it. That screw's fairly uh, mucked about so I guess someone's been in here at some point before. side of the uh, case. Incidentally this is actually copper. Rather uh, extreme lengths to go to but I guess that's the reason. And here we go. These are the insides of it. And it's actually quite nice even uh, even given its age. Very well balanced. Huh. That's that's really quite nice actually. And uh, another one in there, yep. Yeah. Another oh oh that only rotates partly, okay. Some really nasty vintage capacitors there. So it's actually it's, it's quite nicely engineered. Um, all these these nice uh, custom grooves in in the uh, in the casting for the the wires to go down. Um, yuck! 
this 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 tape is, is really nasty and old and sticky and smelly and horrible. Quite nice attention to detail. They've uh, put little bits of tape over the the edges so the the wires don't get uh, chafed up. It has been repaired at some point in the past. It looks like this bit was uh, was replaced. The, the wire is slightly different and it's, it's tied up a bit messily. So we have, I guess it's either a, a motor in both the top and the bottom, or one of them is a, a motor and one of them is some sort of feedback sensor. Um, so here, this this end had windings on, on both both parts, um, and uh, this bottom end just had uh, this uh, this ring around here, um, and this this rather heavier winding. Not entirely sure which end drove it and which end was uh, which end was sensing. So of course this whole part is very very carefully balanced. Let's zoom in a bit. Very very carefully balanced, and uh, we've got all these sort of screws and, and adjustment parts to uh, to adjust the balance of it when it was when it was installed. Nice bit of machining. I don't know when this thing was made. I guess I guess it was uh, 50s, 60s, something like that. But uh, must have uh, must have taken a tremendous amount of effort to design and build it all. So I'm just going to remove this little mercury tilt switch before I go any further, because otherwise it's it's guaranteed to break. There'll be mercury everywhere. Oh dear. 
I was, was sort of intending to try and keep these bearings in one piece, but apparently that one didn't want to be in one piece. So there's a very nicely balanced flywheel. About a million holes drilled in it. It must have taken ages to balance that. So this thing's really heavy. And uh, the ring in the center, it doesn't doesn't seem to be particularly magnetic, which is which is interesting. Uh, maybe it's just an induction motor. Um, Going to it. Yeah, that's how it is. This is interesting, some sort of shock absorbing mountain. So yeah, there we go. One gyroscope that uh, doubtless cost thousands and thousands of pounds when it was new. Cost me eight quid on eBay. Hope you enjoyed it. Come again. <laughs>